Hi, welcome to AnimalSmith.com and today we're going to get into the Lee Collet neck sizing die and there's some things you're going to want to keep around to make life a little easier for you with this die. One, you want to keep some 1500 grit sandpaper and you want just a little bit of white lithium grease. I'm going to show you why in a second, so let's get started. Okay, so the way this thing works is when the bolt is in the shell holder, it gets stuffed up in here, and then with the force of the ram going over it, it'll push this into these pedals that are inside of it, and those pedals get squished down around a mandrel. Let me take this apart and show you what happens. So basically what you got is just a hollow die body here, and that just holds the, the workings in here. As you can see, this is a very stout decapping pin, but it's not just a decapping pin, it's, all, it's an expander ball as well. Um, but it's at a constant diameter. So when this thing goes over it, these pedals on here get forced down around it, and it actually squeezes the neck down like this. It's not like going through a standard die where it runs down a, um, a channel to force it down to size. This actually gets squeezed. And what you'll notice is you'll have like little lines on the outside. You'll have four of them. And that's from these pedals right here. And the way the pedals get squeezed down is through this right here. When this is forced in, it squeezes these pedals together. And this is a really simple idea, and it works okay, but there's advantages and disadvantages to it. One of the advantages to this is, where the die is placed in the press, you can actually determine how much neck tension you actually have, unlike a standard neck sizing die, which is at a preset limit. Here you can set your tension. But if you put too much tension on there and you're over squeezing it, what you'll do is you'll get a deformation in the shoulder in just the first part of the body area, which will cause a bulge. It'll actually start the case to collapse. And what you'll get is like a ridge. Sometimes you can't see it and sometimes you can. But if you get that, most likely you will not get a, a round little chamber. So let me get this thing reassembled and show you how to set it up. Now, one of the things that I've learned with this, before I reassemble it, is sometimes this will stick for whatever reason. And what I do is I use a little bit of lithium, white lithium grease, and I keep some 1500 grit sandpaper, and I just polish this edge right here because this thing's old I've had this for a long time and it's kind of worn a little bit here where it takes the pressure and in order to ease that I just take a very little bit of lithium grease maybe like that much and I'm done And then this will help ease the wear in that metal part. 